hi I'm going to be a little bit quiet this morning. There's a massage going on in the back of our store and I don't want to disrupt anybody's time. So hopefully you can hear me well. And I'm not going to be here with you long this morning, but I did want to pop in and show you the table legs. I meant to um, paint those with you yesterday, but somebody called here at work, so I, I needed to take care of that. So I painted while I talked. And I have... Um, I used Little Black Dress um, by DIY, and can you see the legs here? These are very heavy. This is the top of the legs. They narrow down. They're, they're, they're very, very heavy, and they go to this table. I'm going to leave it just like it is. I like it the size that it is, and there was some damage to the, some damage to the leaf that I don't feel like messing with, just to be honest. I'll do, I'll do something else. I'll repurpose that for something else. But um, I've thought about it and I've had some suggestions from the last videos. Thank you, Amber, for that if you're watching. Um, and we're gonna go with red. I'm gonna go, it, it's sort of out of my comfort zone. Red's not one of my favorite colors, but I just feel like it's supposed to be red and, and I just need to trust my judgment on that. I, I, I believe our intuition tells us when we're supposed to do something a certain way and I see this table is red and black so red and black it's going to be i did get it at a garage sale specifically just to be able to paint with y'all that's that's the fun of my hunting for projects but the likelihood of bleed through tan and bleed through something that comes from under old finishes of wood it's called tan and bleed through is likely to happen through the red paint and i would be so disappointed if i was to go to all that work to follow through with my vision of making this table red and then it come up with brown spots and and greasy looking spots from underneath and, and i'm afraid that's what's going to happen so i'm going to clean the tabletop with uh Dixie Bell White Lightning, uh, which is a TSP based uh, cleaner. And I would, if I had just TSP, I would use that. If the, the it's, it's cheap to buy the, the little one from Dixie Bell. And I have one here already. So I'm gonna clean it off to get all the old grease and residue off of there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and use, it's not a slick surface. So I don't need slick stick. Um, I'm not going to sand it because you don't have to whenever you're using the clay and chalky based paints. That's not part of the process that you have to do. But I am going to use Boss on it, which is the a Dixie Bell product um, that blocks stains and odors. And I will probably, because of those deep scratches and because of the age of the and the condition of the table, I'll probably put at least two coats of that on there before I go with my red paint. And I haven't decided which red yet, but I'll share that with y'all whenever I do. But let me show you what I was going to do today and share with you. Back to the legs. I got um, one good coat, and that's all it took. One good coat um, all the way around on all the legs. Now, I'm not going to be able to do this as quickly, so with you, I will probably get... I'm using um, DIY After Show Big Top and I'm just going to use one of my older chip brushes and let's just get it on here and I'm going to go ahead and put it under the bottom too and, and, and on the top edge because this is a clay based paint and it has no kind of sealer on it and I do want that to be sealed because if water was to ever get on it at any time it could reactivate that paint and lift it off. Now the paint will um, what do you call it cure after 30 days you don't and 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 be harder but the top coat's going to protect it during that time and and thereafter so uh i sort of shook this around you sort of better to um stir than to shake but i sort of shook in a circular motion and i'm just gonna get some of this on here See how dark it's getting now? I would have been contaminating that whole jar. And that's what we're talking about when we're saying don't contaminate your paint because there's black all through there now. OK, 
Okay, so it's coated on three sides and I'm gonna let them dry while I go to lunch. See, how did I amazingly get just the right amount in there? Um, see the black that came, it's not any place that you can see where black came off, but black did come off. I'm gonna put a fan on this, leave a fan going while I'm going to lunch. That way I can flip them over and get uh, the other side as soon as I get back and figure out how I'm gonna get that table started. Talk to you soon, bye.